Hey guys, uh, it's Matt Gabriel here, and welcome back to another 35mm um, camera review. Uh, and today we will be looking at the Olympus XA2. So, before we get into the review, I'd like to give a massive shout out to The Layton Image for sponsoring this video. The Layton Image are a company based out of uh, Shrewsbury in Shropshire. They do film processing, development, uh, negative scans, they also have their own store. Um, and they have a pop-up shop in the Shoopy market as well. So they're a really good new company um, and I'm happy to support them with everything that they're doing. It's also best to note that all the photos from today's video have been developed and scanned using the Leighton Images 35mm development service so you can get a good idea of the quality that you're going to be getting. Um, and also the, the Leighton Image offers really good value film development so free 99 for uh, C41 35mm development and 399 for um, black and white development as well. It's really, really good value. Once again, massive thank you to them for sponsoring this video. So let's jump into the review. Um, this is the Olympus X-82. It's a point and shoot camera, uh, clamshell design. And I went out today uh, to Lincoln with my friend and we shot this camera. We shot some Max Spielman um, expired uh, 2003. Um, for ISO 400 film, so it was shot at ISO 100 and uh, I'm going to show you some video now of the results. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a bit different, <laughs> probably a bit better production quality than has been seen uh, in the past for my channel and hopefully something that I can work towards in the future. Um, but let's start with the overview of the camera. So this is the Olympus XA2. It's a clamshell design, black camera. Um, and when you open the clamshell, you reveal the viewfinder, the lens, the ISO setting, whether it's got a flash and the focusing distance as well. So we'll start with a viewfinder. It's a really bright and big viewfinder. It's very uncluttered as well. You've got nothing in the viewfinder apart from the image that you're going to see. And you've got an LED to tell you if your photo is going to be underexposed or not. And you've got a little indicator to see whether the flash is on or not. But apart from that, nothing in the viewfinder. And that is really great for you if you're taking the photo and uh, you're not distracted by anything going on. Starting with the uh, going on to the lens, we've got the uh, f3.5 Zwico lens, so that is a quite um, open aperture, uh, really good quality lens that Olympus offers. Zwico is one of the best quality lenses that are offered by Olympus, so 
uh, you know that you're getting a good a good lens in that sense. It's also a 35 millimeter focal length, so that is a perfect focal length for something like street photography and just your day-to-day -day needs. Um, and it really works well for me as well. It's a really nice focal length where it's not too far away. It's not too close either. It works really well in, in tight spaces. Um, so as you'll see from the photos, the, the uh, lens is a really good sharp lens and I've got no complaints about that. Um, you've got the uh, ISO setting here so you can go from uh, 25 to 800 and that gives you some really good uh, ranges for the film that you might be using and just a little lever on the side here so when you attach your A11 or A16 flash to the side you pull that along and it pops up and then you know that the flash is ready to be used. So going on to the focusing distance, you've got three focusing distance. The default is group, um, you've got mountains, which is infinity, and you've also got a portrait one, which is about um, 0.9 meters to about 1, 1.5 meters. Um, so you can kind of pick this up as you shoot the camera, but also um, you, you can understand what portrait means and you can understand what group photo means and you can understand what infinity means. Um, and you can pick that up pretty quickly, and it's a it's a really easy camera to use. Um, for me, this is the best street photography camera that I've ever used in terms of uh, ease of use, silence of the shutter. So the shutter's on the top there. Um, when you press the shutter, it's really quiet. It's a leaf shutter. Um, and then you've also got quick focusing as well. So really easy to put to get your camera decide what focus you want it in take take the shot and then move away and then wind the camera on when you've moved away um, so in terms of street photography this is a really great camera for street photography um, on the bottom we've got the battery check and the self timer so that's about 15 seconds I think uh, the battery you've got a tripod holder um, and then the free film release when you're ready to rewind it. On the back you've got the film back which opens out to reveal the film, the lens, pretty simple. You place it in this side, pull the leader over, put it in one of these catches, then wind it on, then close the back again. Uh, on the top as we said we've got the knob, wind, uh, rewind and release lever, we've got the shutter release and also a film counter as well here so you can see what frame you're at and that is really really it um, for the for the camera it's really simple and easy to use and that is that's what you're looking for okay so going on to my advantages my disadvantages so obviously the advantages are the the lens the ease of use uh, in a street photography setting it's really really easy to use and really 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 nice to use as well really intuitive to use um, and it is a really good camera. You can see from the results whether the, you like them or not. But you know, it's sharp. It's it's it it, it offers you a really good avenue um, and solution to getting those street photography photos. Um, it's not a big camera, so you're not getting in people's way, and it's really silent as well. Uh, the disadvantages are probably the shutter. Sometimes, probably about once in a hundred times, doesn't work. Um, but as you can see then it worked so it's fine and also the rewind so if you come from a camera which has automatic advance you may forget about that and press the shutter and you miss your shot because you've got to advance the film but that did happen to me a few times uh, you'll see from the video that that happened a few times but it wasn't anything that was the camera's fault it was just my fault coming from an automatic camera um, with the Yashica T5 so it is a really, really great camera. I'd highly recommend it. About about £35, £40 is what I'd expect you to pay for it. Um, if that if it gets more popular or less popular, then, then that's how cameras go. But it's a really great camera, especially if you've never shot film before. To go straight into a really good quality, really easy to use camera is is great. And, and with the days getting longer, you don't have to use the flash as much. Um, I, I mentioned this in the XA uh, review as well, but the flash added on really does add weight and make the camera more bulky. So it's not really a camera which you want to be using the flash for. And if you do want to use the flash on like parties or nights out, then I'd recommend the Olympus Mu 2. 
um, the Olympus Mu 1 as like a cheaper alternative to one a camera that's got a flash built in as well. Um, so it really depends what you're looking for. Um, but this camera, really, really great camera and I'd highly recommend it. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, leave comments down below. I'm quite active on, on the internet, so if you do have any questions, I'll probably see them and answer them within a day. Um, message me on Instagram if you want to uh, contact me quicker. But thank you for watching. Um, I hope you can look forward to more videos from me in the future. And a massive thank you to The Latent Image once again for sponsoring this video. So thank you for watching and goodbye.